Welcome to another Bread for a Friend. I want to thank you for taking time to view this devotional. I always a joy to come to your place of viewing. And I pray that we can be a help to you. That is my heart's goal, my desire to be a blessing. Give you, give you a little truth from the scripture uh, in this time. Uh, we're looking at Psalm 37, a good counsel from the psalmist. We looked last time at fret not thyself because of evildoers. I'm interested in verse three today. Here's what the Bible said in Psalm 37, three. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. I'm interested in those few words at the beginning of that verse, trust in the Lord. That word trust there means to have confidence. Do you realize today that one of the, the tricks of the devil is to get you not to trust God, to have confidence in God. You know he wants you not to have confidence in the word of God. See, Satan is so sly and he is always just trying to nibble away and get you to think God doesn't care and he doesn't love you and he's not interested in you and he's not gonna help you. But the psalmist said, trust in the Lord. Put your, you can have confidence in the Lord. We see the psalmist talked about uh, over there in uh, Psalm 118. I, I thought about some verses as uh, I was meditating upon this. We, we find in that, that psalm, he, he mentioned several things about uh, confidence. In Psalm 118 and verse eight and verse nine, it said, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. You know, you know, it's sad to say this, but it seemed like people put confidence in other men and political leaders instead of trusting the Lord. Because I'll promise you somewhere or another, man will let you down. They will fail you. The political leaders of our country, listen, there's people who are more interested in their political party than they are. And I'm gonna tell you, that crowd's gonna let you down. They cannot come through on all the promises they've made you but you can trust in the Lord. You can put your confidence in him. Every promise of this precious word is true and you can stand on it. You can live by it. You can die by it. We can have confidence in the Lord. Over in the book of Philippians, I thought about this verse before I close today. He said this in Philippians chapter one. He said, being confident of this very thing, that he which begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. You can put confidence in the Lord. I've given him the keeping of my soul. He saved me 42 years ago. Hey, if he was able to save me, and he did, I can still trust him with all the cares of life, all the situations of life. Ladies and gentlemen, put your confidence in the Lord, not in man. Till next week for another Bread for a Friend, May God bless you is our prayer.